Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Marvin, me Hola, teacher. Hoy, hoy sí me escucha, Marvin. Eh, anteriormente no me escuchaba, Marvin. No, no la escuchaba. Ah, ok. Cristina, ¿me escuchaba anteriormente? No. No, no me escuchaba. Ok. Creo que hay un problema con el micrófono de mi computadora. Déjeme hacer una pruebita y luego me dicen. Permítame. Yeah. Que se tiene que escuchar. Vamos a ver. Eh, uno, uno, dos. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Marvin? Sí. Sí, sí me escucha ahora. Sí, 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 sí ah. le escucho. Ok, good. Cristina, ¿usted me escucha también? Sí. Sí, sí, hoy sí. ¿Se oye bien? Sí. sí. Ok, good. Let's continue. So, eh, hello, Mirna, Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Welcome Hi. to the class. I'm happy to see you, right? Good evening. Hello, evening. Hello, hello Josabet, Dinora, Abby. Hello, everybody. Uh, today hello. I have a new camera. Can you see my camera? Yes. Yes. Okay, see your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yo me ven más las canitas. <laughs> Full HD 4K. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? Eh, ya me había afligido porque nadie me escuchaba. <laughs> Pero ya, ya, ya modificamos ahí. Si, si no me escuchan bien, pues también deténganme ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Por aquí tengo otro de con micrófono que me ayuda muchísimo también. Ok, now let's start with the class. As we always do, we begin with the with the um, with the review, right? Pero tenemos aquí, sí, me, Mauricio me decía ahí, verdad, que no me podía escuchar. Muy bien, ya ya resolvimos, verdad, Mauricio. Gracias. Hoy sí me escucha. Okay, now we're going to to share. Vamos a compartir la 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 plataforma. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with a conversation. Let me see. Printer media. Where do you work, right? Let's review this. And I'm going to ask some volunteers to help me, right? Esos voluntarios necesito que me ayuden. Let me see. Conversation, right? Okay, just give me a second. Hamburger heaven. Oops. <clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to section. Me cae mal cuando se te traba tu teléfono. Hello, por ahí escuchamos micrófono. <laughs> okay. La vez pasada en la clase de mi hija, pues... Nos pusimos a hablar con mi esposa y todos nos escucharon ahí, ¿verdad? Es lo, lo especial de estas clases virtuales, así que no tengan pena. De vez en cuando se nos, se nos abre ahí el micrófono. Ok, now, let's continue. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? Just give me a second. Déjeme ver si no estoy perdido. Sí, esta es. Yes. Okay. Where do I you work? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Now, let's practice again. Repeat after me, please. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travels. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America. 
South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. Great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. Part-time. Part-time. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, now let me see. Uh, Rocio Flores and Mauricio Larcón. Help me today, please. Rocio, you are Andrea, right? And Mauricio, it's Jason. Ayer lo practicamos, okay. pero hoy vamos nuevamente. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru. How oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And ha I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Uh, hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good pronunciation. I like it. I like it very much. Okay, now, let's read the commentaries for today, right? Oh, only one. Uh, look at the teacher. Cuando solo un alumno comentó, look at the teacher. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, let me see. Where do you work? I work at Burger King. Oh, nice. ¿Quién trabaja en el Burger King que nos ha descuento ahí en las hamburguesas? Really, what do you do there? I'm, a, I'm the cooker. Nice. Good hamburger, right? Buenas hamburguesas y bien baratas. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's go to the second uh, video. W is question, right? Are uh, you take? At this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes. Studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Okay. Just give me a second. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take. Okay, give me a second here. 
Good. So, uh, just give me a second. Okay, good. So, last class we were learning about the WH question, right? And that we make one specific question and we have one specific answer. For example, one is for POSA, right? Where, for places, lugares. And, and what is tres por cosas and how is para forma o manera, right? And we were learning that the very simple present, sorry, it has one form, right? But for third person singular, it has another form. Veamos que para tercera persona singular, eh, tenía otra forma, ¿verdad? Vimos unas reglas, a la mayoría solo se le agrega S, si el verbo termina en S, se le agrega S también, pero si el verbo termina en Y, ok, la Y se le cambia por I latina y luego le agregamos ES. Y a todos los verbos que terminaban en S, SH, CH, O, o X, se le agregaba ES. Por ejemplo, teach, teaches. Do, that. Go, goes. Y aprendíamos que hay una forma irregular que es have. No decimos have, sino que has. ¿Ok? Este es el tema de ayer. Uh, I don't know if you have any extra questions. No sé si hay alguna pregunta todavía. Uh, estoy diciendo uh, ayer, ¿verdad? La última clase fue el, el viernes. Uh, les mandé el, el, la presentación de PowerPoint también para que la repasaran en el grupo. Pero este tema es bien extenso y es un poquito básico. Bueno, bastante básico. Así que no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Me gustaría que me preguntaran algo porque sí es un poco Teacher. extenso este tema. Ajá, yes. Mauricio. Eh, no tengo, no tengo, no, Luis Canal. Luis, 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 ok, Luis. No tengo pregunta con el double H question, pero sí tengo pregunta con la parte de, de, en la segunda respuesta donde dice I work at y ah. en. Okay. No entiendo muy bien por qué está el at y el in. In. Es que se puede decir de ambas formas, ¿vale? pero cuando usted dice at, se refiere a una dirección, ¿verdad? A la ubicación del lugar. Y cuando dice in, se, se refiere a que usted está dentro de. Por ejemplo, para decir que estoy dentro de una compañía, no sé, Sigma, por ejemplo, una compañía grande en El Salvador. I work in Sigma, ¿sí? Pero me refiero a que yo estoy dentro de la, de, la, de la organización, dentro de la compañía, ¿verdad? Inclusive, si usted está en, en físico en el lugar, podría decir, no estoy afuera en la calle, sino que estoy in. ¿okay? También se puede utilizar ahí el in. Y el at, como le repito, se refiere a, a la ubicación geográfica del lugar. ¿sí? Como la dirección. Pero en la práctica, ambos se usan de la misma forma. Usted puede decir at o puede decir in y no hay problema. ¿Verdad? No hay ningún inconveniente ahí. ¿Sí entiende, Luis? Sí, 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 teacher. Sí. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question? Otra pregunta, chicos? Eh, ¿Cuál sería la traducción de la última pregunta? How does she How like does it? She like it? ¿Cómo le gusta a ella? O, ¿O qué tanto le gusta a ella? ¿O cómo le gusta a ella? Entonces la respuesta es, ah, no, a ella le, a ella le gusta. Uh, por ejemplo, yo le podía preguntar algo. Le podía decir, Mauricio. How do you like football? ¿Qué tanto te gusta el fútbol? How do you... Aquí está el, el, el you, en lugar de usar she, usamos you, ¿verdad? Like the football. Se puede contestar, I don't like it. O, oh, yes, I love it. Oh, it's, it's nice, right? Me gusta ver la liga, me gusta ver el paz, la alianza, la águila, right? Eso quiere decir la pregunta, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Yes, thank you. Now, another question. Otra pregunta. Okay, look, what I need is this, right? Lo que necesito es esto. Que ustedes distingan sin ningún inconveniente una pregunta de información o una pregunta de yes, no, right? Que cuando ustedes les pregunten algo en inglés, ustedes sepan que le están preguntando de algo, de un lugar, de tiempo, ¿Ok? O que simple y sencillamente le están preguntando sí o no. ¿Ok? Porque generalmente cuando nos hacen una pregunta en inglés, cuando usan can, por ejemplo, cuando usan do, cuando usan did, should, will, 
a veces uno no sabe cómo responder, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde se pierde. Entonces, para que no nos perdamos, tenemos que saber bien la diferencia entre las dos categorías de preguntas. ¿Ok? Que estas son las principales categorías. So, understand? I, that's why I'm asking. Por eso me he detenido ahorita, para asegurarme que todos entiendan este tema. ¿Yes? Sin miedo, pregunten. Yes, sí. Ah, ok. Yes. Hay otra pregunta. No. ¿No? O solo yes, de yes, I understand. <laughs> no, no, I, I'll, I'll be clear. Okay, excellent. I like it. I like it. Okay, now let's see the commentary. Vamos a ver si hay... Oh, solo tres comentarios, right? <laughs> okay. Esperamos que para mañana haya más. Okay, let me see. Uh, what do you do? I work at supermarket. When do you... Study. I study in the morning. Where does she play soccer? She plays soccer at school. Excellent. No sé quién hizo este ejercicio, pero está muy bien. Solo hacen falta algunos puntos, nada más. Puntitos finales ahí, algunas mayúsculas. But it's good, right? Y aquí el I me lo pusieron con minúscula. Pero todo está perfecto. Vean, she plays. Plays, right? With S. Nice. Por aquí está otro. No dice el nombre, pero vamos a ver. Where do you work? I work at Burger King. Ah, okay. What do you do there? I'm the cooker. Where do you go to university? I go to the U.S. Ah, oh, okay. Tenemos estudiantes de la U.S. en el grupo. Nice. Where does Nicole work? She works for Apple. También podemos decir aquí, she works in Apple or she works at Apple, right? Pero el for, estamos diciendo que trabaja para la compañía. Now, who do you play baseball with? Oh, where do you work? Where does she work? Mm -hmm. Aquí se hay un pequeño errorcito. Vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Who wants to help me? Vamos a agrandarlo. Let's maximize it. Let's maximize this. Okay, where does she work? Who wants to help me? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar? Where's the mistake? Es, Ay, como que utilizó el dos, no tiene no que, que poner la S. Wor, la S en Word. Ok, thank you very much. Three students. Tres estudiantes. Excelente, very good. Das, and then it's not necessary the S, because we already use the auxiliary, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So that's it. That's it, right? And now, let's go to the knowledge check, right? Este sí lo vamos a hacer juntos. Let's do it together, right? But, uh, question. Did all of you finish? ¿Ya lo terminaron todos este ejercicio? 2.4. No le check, right? Uh, yes. Yo no, teacher. Yes. No. Okay, thank no, you. I love teacher. honesty, right? I like honesty. Me gusta la honestidad. So, tomorrow. Entonces, me recuerdan hacerlo mañana. Okay, teacher. Que todos lo hayan terminado para no hacer trampita, ¿verdad? Okay, teacher. But normally, you know, for example, here, right? It's easy because look, according to the subject, right? You is does or do. Huh? Then here, where do you go or where do you go? Nuevamente, ven el sujeto, inclusive el auxiliar aquí, y aquí nos va la respuesta. How do you like your classes or where do you like your class? And then he says, I like them a lot. Ok, por aquí eh, Luis creo que me preguntaba esto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué significaba eso? What? Tania, look Tania. Tania is a woman. She's a she, right? So do or does. What does she do exactly? She teaches or she teach. Es tercera persona, sí o no. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works or he work? And finally, where o what does he do exactly? Nos está hablando aquí de un lugar o de una ocupación, de un trabajo. ¿Ok? For tomorrow, for tomorrow, right? And let's finish with the last conversation. Pay attention, please. Afternoon. I start work at five. Lesson. You will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. 
So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. Now, let's practice again the conversation, right? Repeat after me. Ready? So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Okay, only Godofredo, please Godofredo. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. No, no, uh, you repeat, Godofredo. Ah, repeat. Yes, yes, okay. thank you, thank you. So, do you? So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Thank you. Listen, I need you, you are very stylish, Godofredo. Quiero que agarre el, el, la pronunciación piqui del inglés, ¿verdad? Usually. ¿Ah? Usually. Sí, usually. 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 Excellent. Do you usually? Notice that when you say usually, usually, ah, oh, come on, right? But when you usually. say, no, you say well, usted lo dijo bien, pero ahorita con más calidad ahí, usually. Uh, usually. Excellent. Very good. Now, everybody, please repeat. Everybody. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, Godofredo. Ahí vamos, vamos a parar un ratito el micrófono, Godofredo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Godofredo. Okay, everybody. Really? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? Now, Silvia, please. Only you, Silvia. Um, yes, teacher. Uh, really? What time do you go to work? Excellent. Listen, the, the intonation really is like you are an actor, right, Silvia? Like you, you really leave the conversation, right? Es como que usted estuviera viviendo el momento. Really? Okay. Ah, okay, nice. Good, right? Now, everybody, please. Ahora sí, todos. Vamos a repetir. I work in the afternoon. Afternoon. I start work at five. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Listen. Start. Start five. V, v, v. Don't say five. Five, no. No, it's, it's incorrect to say five. No, no. Five. I start work at five. Okay, good. So let me see. Uh, Jennifer, please. Yeah. Please repeat this part. I work in the afternoon. I start working. Please repeat. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Excellent. I like Jennifer. Listen, start, eh? Like you say, student, school, right? Steven. Remember, don't say eh, Steven, right? Eh, cool. No, it's cool, start, Steven. Like in El Salvador, say eh, Steven, vení. Right? No, no, no. It's Steven, right? Okay, thank you. Now, everybody, please, everybody. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Night. When do you get home at night? Okay, Christina, please, only you. Whoa, that's late. No, no, wait, 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 Christina, wait. Listen, you're an actress. You are in Hollywood in this moment, right? So you say, 
Wow. Okay. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Wow. That's late. When do you go? When do you get home at night? Excellent. Everybody, please, everybody repeat. I usually get home at midnight. I usually get home at midnight. Marvin Lue, please. Only you, Marvin. I usually get home at midnight. Thank you very much, everybody. Midnight. That is late. What do you do exactly? Exactly. Exactly. What do you do exactly? Veronica, please, only you. What do you, what do you do exactly? Uh huh. But oh, the full sentence, Veronica. Midnight. That okay. is late. What do you do? Okay, come on. Midnight. That is late. What do you What do you do exactly? <laughs> okay. Exactly. Right. Nice. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, everybody. I'm a TV announcer. Announcer. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Recognize? Recognize me? Don't you recognize me? No, Mauricio Perez. Come on, Mauricio, you can do it. Hello, hello. <laughs> Come on, Mauricio. I'm a TV. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on Kane TV. Don't you recognize me? Thank you. Now, everybody. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel, etc. etc. Okay, good. Now, uh, Dinora, please. Only you, Dinora. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you very much. Okay, like, like you say, oh, you're Moises Urbina. I like your show. It's something like that, right? In Salvador, right? Eh? Okay, good. Now, let's see the commentaries. Let's see the commentaries. Oh, only one, come on, only one, come on. Right. Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? No, I don't. Really? Why? Because I always leave my children at school. That's nice. No sé qué me hizo este comentario, pero está muy bonito. Está bien estructurado. Solo que children se me suele la S. Children es singular, no, verdad, es plural siempre. No necesitamos la S. Okay? Good, but it's a good example. Thank you very much. No sé qué me lo escribió, pero thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now let's go to the class today. Let's go to the class. I will, uh, I will share my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, today, time expressions, listening exercise, daily schedules, and reading. Why do you need a job? Okay, now, let's just start with the, with the lesson objective, right? Luis Canales, Luis, can you read the, the objective for the class, please? Yes, by the end of this class, lesson, uh, by the end of this class, lesson participant, participants uh, will be able to identity, identify and use time expressions such as preposition, 
of time and adverse of time. Thank you very much. Especially time expression, right? Time expression. Okay, the vocabulary for today. Listen, please. Wake up, get up, early, late, until, stay up, college, quickly, always. Wake up means despertarse, right? Pero no lo mismo despertarse que quedar fría en la cama. Sin ganas de levantarse, right? But get up, yes, right? Levantarse. Early and late, temprano o tarde. Until, hasta. Stay up means quedarse despierto, right? Quedarse levantado. College is colegio, yes or no? College is colegio, yes or no? No, not teacher. No, thank no. you very much. College is university, right? University. Good. Yes. Quick is fast, rápido, right? And quickly, the Lee indicates an adverb, right? Quick, rápido, quickly, rápidamente, right? And other ones is mesada, right? Los que todavía no trabajan, pues, me imagino que recién mesada, right? No sé si yo sabe. O alguien del grupo, pues todavía recibe mensajes de sus padres, pues. Que suena, <risa> Nadie, <¿verdad>? teacher. <risa> Nadie, no. Todos trabajamos, ¿verdad? Ok. Yeah, I Just work. Like you, you work. Oh, well, I'm yeah. sorry. Como la veo bien sin foto, dije yo, quizás todavía está en casita, pero no, trabaja, ¿verdad? Ok. <risa> thank you, thank you. Now, uh, any question? No. No, teacher. No. Ok, now, let's continue, please. Okay, time expression, the use of in, pay attention. The preposition in is used in time, right? No in, in place, right? No vamos a hablar de las preposiciones de lugar, preposiciones de tiempo. Okay, listen. Uh, we use the preposition in with parts of the day, month and years. Parte del día, meses y años. For example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in September, in 2020. Parts of the day, month, and year. Repeat, everybody. Parts of the day, month, and year. Right? Now, I need everybody help me, please. Parts of the day, month, and year. Only the boys, please. Todos los chicos. Ready? One, two, three. We use parts of the no, parts, parts of the day. Parts of the day. Parts of the day. Month, 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 year. and years. years. Excellent. Years. Now only the girls. Only the girls. One, two, three. Parts of the day, months, and years. Thank you very much, girls. Now, I ask you to repeat because I will make a quiz. Le voy a hacer un pequeño laboratorio oral, right? About this. So remember, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in September, yes. in July, in August, in 2020, in 2020, in 2021, in 1999, etc., etc. In, right? Okay, now. On. When do you use on? We use the preposition on with days, portions of the week, and dates. No dates. Dates, right? On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Friday, on Saturday, etc., etc. On weekdays, día de la semana. On weekends, right? También cuando hablan de vacaciones, on vacation. Se no dice in vacation, no, no. On vacation, right? On vacation. Then, when you say date, fecha. On September the 28th. 28th. On the 28th. Mira, cuando te presentas a trabajar. Ah, el 28. El 28. Me... On the 28th. On the 28th, right? On. On the 28th. Good. So again, days, portions of the week, portions and dates. Portions on the weeks, on dates. Now, 
Days, portions of the week, and days. Portions. Memorize, please. Memorize. Days. Now, uh, only the girls. Days. Repeat after me, girls. Days, portions, etc. Et Ready? Days. Only the girls. Days. One, two, three. Days, days, portions of, of the week, week, and days. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, now we're going to listen to the boys. Vamos a ver quién gana. Okay, who's the winner? Boys, ready? One, two, three. Days, portions of the week, and days. On no, come on, boys. You disappoint me, right? <laughs> on September 28th. The girls girl born, right? Let's check on that one. Good. But on please, memorize. Memorize this. Days, person of the week, and dates. Dates. Yeah. Right? Okay, now. The next one, please. Pay attention, right? Let repeat. Repeat. In parts of the day, month, and years. On days, days portions of the week, right. and dates. dates. Okay, now at. We use the preposition at with specific time, specific time. night, midnight, mm -hmm. and noon. For example, you say at 9 p.m., at 10 p.m., at 3 30, at 3 40. Etc. Etc. Specific times. Specific times. At noon, at night, at midnight. Always use that. Never say in nine. I see you in nine. Right? No, never say that. At nine. It's the rule, right? Okay. Good. Now, boys. Specific time. Night, midnight, and noon. Ready? Repeat, please. One. Boys. Only the boys. Two. Three. Specific time, midnight, no. Excellent, very good. You did it very well. Now, girls, girls, one, two, three. A specific time, midnight, no, no. Oh, come on, girls. The boys. Esta vez le ganaron los chicos, okay. Now, let's go to the exercise, right? Now we'll ask for names. I will ask for names. When is the party? When is the meeting? When is the dance? When is the dinner? What time is the movie? What time is the class? What day is the concert, right? I'm going to start with Kenneth. Ready, Kenneth? When is the party? Kenneth, you have to use at, in, or on, right? I'm thinking, teacher. Hello? Uh-huh. Kenneth, come on. I'm thinking. Yes, yes, I... come on. We are waiting. Estamos so... esperando, Kenneth. Don't worry. Eh, para mientras Kenneth piensa el ejemplo, le recuerdo que esta semana tenemos clases de lunes a jueves. Y de aquí en adelante hasta finalizar el curso siempre va a ser de lunes a jueves, ¿ok? Monday to Thursday, right? Now, Kenneth? C could be when is the party? Um, the party is on the weekend. The party is on the weekend. Okay, that's acceptable. On the weekend. On is used to parts of the week, right? On the weekend. Okay, or like the British, British say the party. Let's go to the party. Okay, good. Now, uh, just a bit. Again, the same question. When is the party? Uh, when is the meeting? No, no. When is the party? The same question that I did to Kenneth. Um, when is the party? Um, the party is on December 24th. Okay, nice. Date, right? We use on with dates. Now, with Alfredo, please. When is the meeting, Godofredo? When is the meeting? Uh, what's the what's the meeting? Or how do you say that? Meeting? Um. <laughs> meeting? Reunión? 
Meeting. Arre. When is the meeting? It's tonight. At at. Uh huh. At tonight. Creo que. The meeting is at. At. Uh huh. Night. At nine. The meeting is at nine. The meeting is night. Good. Now, oh. recharge, right? Okay, now, the meeting is at night. And now, Mauricio Alarcón. Yes. When is the meeting, Mauricio? Uh, the meeting is at nine. Uh -huh, but that was the example of Godofredo, right? Es lo que nos dijo Godofredo. Oh, okay. Díganos usted ahora una hora, una fecha. Okay. Uh -huh. una the meeting parte is, mm -hmm. is on Tuesday, uh, September uh, 23rd. 23rd. Very good. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, now who's next? Uh, Marvin. Sorry, Marvin, no puedo leer el apellido. Marvin. Give me a second, Marvin. Hola. No, le veo, no le veo el apellido. Es que tengo, como tengo Marvin Uwe. Marvin Benítez. Benítez, sorry, Marvin, excuse me. Ya no vamos a memorizar del Sofía, don't worry, ok. Ok, Marvin, when is the dance? Uh, dance is at 8 p.m. The dance is at 8 p.m. Very good. Nice. I like it. Now, and who's next? Let me see who's next. Jennifer Tejo, right? Jennifer, yes. when is the dance? The dance, the dance is in the disco at night. Oh, yeah, very good. Ya hasta, el, hasta la, la discoteca no escogió Jennifer. Nice. Good. Now, Silvia, please. When is or when's the dinner, Silvia? Hello, Silvia. Hello, teacher. The dinner is at uh, 8 p.m. Okay, nice. Rocio, please. When is the dinner, Rocio? Um, the dinner is in the uh, afternoon. Excuse me? The dinner is? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Nice. Good example, right? Luis Canales. Luis, when is the movie? Or what time is the movie? Sorry. What time is the movie? The movie is at 8 p.m. Thank you. Dinora, please. What time is the movie? Uh, the movie is in the night. Uh-huh, but in this case, we're asking about time, right? Time, so you have to say Three, four, nine, because specific time, right? Come on, you can do it. Okay, Come on, Dinora. The, uh, the movie is in at 5 uh -huh, p.m. Yes. At 5 p.m., that's nice, right? Now, let me see who's next. Mirna, Mirna, please. Uh, what time is the class, Mirna? The class is uh, at 9 p.m. Good. Cristina, what time is the class, Cristina? Uh, the class is at 10 p.m. Okie dokie. And let me see who's next. Give me a second. I want to check here. ¿Quién no ha participado? Creo que... Ah, Marvin. Marvin Lue. Right? Marvin, what day is the concert? 
Uh, is on October 1st at 9 p.m. Okay, nice. Very good. Let me see. Josabeth ya no participó, ¿verdad? No, ¿verdad, Josabeth? Ok, Josabeth. Yes. What? ¿Ya, ¿Ya participó? Yes. Ah, ok, good. That's it, thank you. Good, any extra question? No, teacher. No, no questions. Ok, now let's go to the platform, right? Vámonos a la plataforma, porque casi no acaba la clase. Let me see. Ok. Time expressions. Fridays. Students will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about... Uh, when I say around, means alrededor de, right? You know, early, temprano, late, rather, until, hasta, and then before, antes, and after, después, right? And um, when I say a.m., this means ante, ante, the anti, anti-meridian, right? And p.m. is past meridian. Anti-meridian, past meridian, right? Okay, good. Now, let's see the explanation here. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, and specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to Teacher, está muteado. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, for tomorrow, please look at the teacher. Please, I need your commentary, your example, right? Today, you gave me a lot of examples. So I need all of these examples. You, you add a pose, right? Copy your name. For example, tomorrow, I want to say, I want to read Cristina Matia, right? Uh, at midnight uh, in 1998, etc., etc., or Luis Canale, right? Commentary, etc., etc., right? Please, for tomorrow, right? Okay, now uh, we're going to explain the knowledge check, right? This is for tomorrow, too. Again, look, the correct preposition. You only have to memorize right? Parts of the day, dates, uh, expression, for example, night, midnight, noon, uh, years, uh, parts of the week, parts of the day, you know, in the morning. And so you have to remember all of these, right? 
and, and you will remember. It, everything is in the present, in the platform, right? Pero si necesitan que les envíe el PowerPoint nuevamente. Yes, teacher. Yes, sí, sí, yes, no teacher. Okay. Entonces lo vamos a mandar nuevamente. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So, and then uh, according to this, you're going to say add, on, or in, right? Simple. Add, on, and in. All the, the exercises add, on, and in, right? So, no more explanation, right? Aquí no hay más que explicar. So, you have to, to copy. Ah, well, we have this late, right? Tarde. Only this exception. I, and around, alrededor de. Only that, right? But then the rest add in and on, right? Okay, that's it. Now, let me see. Uh, listening. Okay, good. Listening. This is going, we're going to do it together, right? Daily schedules. Horario diario. Okay, listen, please. Wait a minute. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, so you're listening here to Rodney, right? Uh, the occupation of Rodney in number one. Rodney is a what? a doctor, a pilot, a teacher. And then he get up at, right? He gets up, right? What time he goes to work home, goes to bed, etc. Now, Tina. Tina is what? What is the occupation of Tina, right? And she gets up at what time? She gets home at, etc., etc. She goes to bed at, and then finally Helen, right? Number nine, the occupation of Helen, what time she gets up, what time she gets home, right? And what time she, she goes to bed. Please, I need you to finish this. So everybody tells me, see, sí, teacher, ya lo hicimos todo. So we can check it together, right? Okay, for tomorrow. And to finish the class, we have the last video. Is reading, right? Reading exercise. Why do you need a job? ¿Por qué necesitamos un trabajo? Why? Read the article and why do these people need jobs? Okay, we're going to read. It says, um, good. Why do you need a job? Uh, scan the profile, who is in high school, who is in college, who is a new parent, right? We have Teresa Glass, Karen Thomas, and Lamar Andrews. So you're going to tell me who is in high school, quien está en bachillerato todavía, who is in college, quien está en la, en la U, en la universidad, and who is a new parent, quien se convirtió en papá. Okay? Listen, please. Teresa Glass. I don't have time to work. Para nada me queda tiempo para, tra para trabajar. But I need a job because college is very expensive. La universidad es muy cara. I study art. I have classes all day on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and on Tuesday and Thursday morning. 
Okay. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. No, rapidamente, right? Quickly. This is the red glass. Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, right? He makes a good salary, right? But we don't save very much money, no. No ahorramos mucho dinero, ¿verdad? Son todos los fines de semana lo gastamos en restaurante, ¿no? We want to save money, some money to buy a house. Miren qué bonito, andan alquilando todavía estos chicos y teniendo bebés. Bueno, I take care of the baby, so I need a job. Necesito un trabajo. I can do at home. I know uh, how to type. And I have a computer, right? Tiene una computadora y es buena escribiendo. That's nice. Lamar Andrews. I'm 16 now, right? Ya cumplió los 16, Lamar. And I don't get any allowance from my parents anymore, yeah? Los papás ya no lo quieren en la casa, ya no le dan su mesada, pobrecito Lamar, right? Okay, I need to earn some money. Earn means ganar, right? Ganar. I need to earn some money. Because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. Sé que el dinero no lo quiere para algo productivo, solo para ir con los amigos, ¿verdad? I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant. Mi papá uh, posee o es dueño de un restaurante. So I know a little about restaurant work. La mar sabe algo de restaurante, ¿verdad? Así que... Alguna ventaja tiene. Now, we're going to select the correct option. Uh, Teresa needs a job too. ¿Para qué necesitas un trabajo, Teresa? Earn money for college. Para el, la universidad. Save money. Para ahorrar dinero. O buy a house. Buy a buy house. house. No, no, just don't, don't say it. It's a secret. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to say it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no problem. I'm, no problem. And Kerry needs a job to what? To go out on weekends, buy a house, or say much? Don't say, don't say. Please. <laughs> and Lamar's need a job for what? Earn money, buy a house, or go out on the weekend. Huh? You see? You have your homework now, right? Ahí tienen su tarea. So you can, you can work in the platform, right? Okay, class. I don't know if you have any extra question, commentary, suggestion. Algún comentario, alguna sugerencia para la clase? No, teacher. No, no sure. teacher, está okay. muy bonita la clase. Okay, thank you for your participation. Remember, with your participation, this class is not good, right? Si no participan ustedes, la clase no, no, no es muy buena. Así que, I, I like your participation. And continue. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good, good, night. Night. good, good night, teacher. Bye, everyone. Good night, teacher. Goodbye, goodbye. God bless you.